What's up guys? Um, Shay. Today we'll be checking out a video called Top 10 for the Paints Travelers Paradise. Okay, first of all, I was asked to react to this last year. Wait, was it last year? Well, it was a video like this to do with the Philippines and there was actually another place as well. But I said no. This isn't a react to everything and anything channel. And funny enough, I knew reacting to Joe the Bee, Joe the Bee would invite other types of video requests, which I was hoping to avoid. But now that I'm really thinking about it, this would be good information for me to know. Top 10 for the paint. Traveler's Paradise. Basically, it's a guide. Well, I'm assuming there's a guide. What else would it be? It would be good for me to know for future reference. Because my goal is to go to the Philippines for the next Wish Music Awards. And obviously to meet Morris Edamon. But you know, if things go down as they planned, then I'll be thanking myself in the future for actually watching this video. Let's check it out. Now I'm about to let you in on a little secret here. The hidden gem of Southeast Asia is right here. The Philippines. My favorite I know. Of countries that I've traveled to. I know. It is some of the most beautiful landscapes and the most incredible sure. people you will ever come across. Definitely the most friendly. Now before you start taking advice from a random stranger, I want to give you a bit of my background. My name is Christian LeBlanc and I spent the last two years traveling Southeast Asia. And with that, I've spent about three months of it in the Philippines. It's a country I plan to revisit very soon. Let's get started with the countdown. I'm Number excited. Number 10 is Boracay. Boracay. Boracay is easily one of the most popular islands in all That's of the beautiful. Philippines. beautiful. And with that, it can get pretty busy sometimes. Now, sure. that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing. The great thing is, you can guarantee you can find some extremely beautiful hotels if that's in your budget. What are you going to say, you can also beautiful find ladies? Some relatively discount ones too. As so I can see in the video. Be too much of an issue here. The nightlife is pretty good, and the food selection is great. Borkong has everything from low end hostels. I'm thinking about that nightlife. Stream luxury hotels. No, when I take more set. But definitely out for expect a day. to spend a bit more money here. The island of Borkai itself is extremely beautiful. Some of the bluest waters you'll see, and some of the finest white sand beaches. I would Again, I thought he was going to say so ladies. Popular. The population of the island has outgrown the infrastructure at least 10 times over, Shit. and this can lead to a lot of congestion. But you're going to spend most of your time on the beach anyway, so what does that matter? Number nine, Oslob. Oslob, Oslob. is extremely well known Oslob. for one thing, and that is the whale sharks. This is a place where you can actually shit. go and swim right next to these gentle beasts. No shit. Now, there's a little bit of controversy that Fuck that. <laughs> the sharks are fed. I'm not good with water. To your discretion. So it's something you learned about me. Swimming next to an animal that could literally grow as large as a small bus. In record, they nah, grow fuck up to that. I can't do that. Feet, although it's very unlikely you'll see one this large. I can Only do that though. minutes away, there's a couple sets of waterfalls. I can definitely do that. Tumalog is the most impressive of the two. It's a massive drop off that creates a beautiful mist. Now, if you're looking for more of an experience with the waterfalls, check out Aginid Waterfalls because you can actually scale up them, you well, can jump off of them. It's much more interactive than just oh looking man, at I need to book my ticket, Jay. It's definitely what the fuck am I doing stuck in this room reacting to this video? Pasqua. My it's love, Pasqua. that you've heard of this place before, but there's a great reason to go, and it's this one animal that lives below the sea. It's very unlikely you've ever heard of this place, but Malapasqua is home to one Mala of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. The thresher shark. If you're a scuba diver, this is a must. Every time you say there shark, no fish I'm just like, no. Than the thresher shark. It has a long tail, just like a scythe. You see it beautifully cutting through the water. For me, this made going to Malapasqua 100% worth it. Now, the dive scene is incredible, but it's not the only thing. Malapasqua Island itself is extraordinarily beautiful. Again, if Seabu. you haven't already noticed the trend, Seabu. extremely blue water, fine white sand beaches, and relatively expensive accommodation. So yeah. this definitely has to be something. That is beautiful. It's a very small honestly and all the accommodations on the island. Why the hell am I reacting to this? Do a little research. We even managed to find this is just making me jealous. Incredibly dormant. I'm gonna travel now. My girlfriend Laura really hit it off with the locals. If you know anything about the Philippines, you'll probably be shocked that I put El Nido in seventh El Nido. place. El Nido. I've heard of that place. Easily one of the El most Nido. beautiful places in the Philippines and arguably the world. The beauty of this place leaves you in awe. Now let's start with the great things about this place. The Four Islands Tour is incredible because it lets you see the cerulean blue waters, the jagged cliff sides, it's seriously earth porn. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. The days in El Nido are unforgettable because you'll spend your entire day hanging around these beautiful landscapes. Honestly, this makes me but almost want to this cry. This is where the problems start. That's when too night beautiful. Hits, it becomes 
a bit less <laughs> enjoyable, I'd say. El Nido's electrical grid is archaic at best. When we backpacked, we spent at least half of our nights in darkness. And worse than the dark, we spent it without any fan or air conditioning. It gets extremely hot in the Philippines, and when the power goes out, I become a pretty unhappy camper. Yep. In addition to this, if you're planning to do anything like I do as a YouTuber, uploading is basically a no-go. The internet speeds True. are so slow. This is my current situation. Holy shit. Look at that. If you spend Spect a lot it. more money, you can Respect actually stay it. at accommodations that will have backup generators, and this will at least help take care of the problem of your air conditioning going out, so you won't sweat to death that night. I want to end this on a positive note because, despite all the inconveniences of El Nido, the beauty of this place makes it all worth it. So you have to go check it out. If you end up going, make sure you do the Four Island tour and make sure you climb Tara Cliff if you're willing to risk your life. It's extremely jagged, but the view you get is unforgettable. The next on my list is Bohol. Bohol, Bohol. is a large and magical Bohol. island. There's so many things to see and do here. It never hurts man, to go around. Man, this guy's living the life, man. To find some of the cool hidden gems, like this little hole in the ground. No pun intended. With Bohol being a big island, you could easily spend five to ten days here. The most popular of the beaches is Alona Beach, and this is a place where you can stay at a five-star hotel or at guest house or hostel. The pricing is definitely on the expensive Holy end, shit. but nothing unreasonable. Also a must in Bohol is to rent a scooter. Some of the most incredible riding I've ever done has been so done here on this island. You take the scooter, you drive up further north from Alona Beach, and you'll end up visiting these guys. These are Tarsiers, animals only found in Bohol. They basically sit like this There's all day, eyes. but what more could you ask for? I mean, just look at him. He's chilling. That's like no how I could most sit in Also worth mentioning, I need to stop talking about further it. Further north, I'm crazy. Anda Beach, and although I liked Anda, I didn't love it. I found it a bit of a dirty beach. For me, I would prefer to have stayed in Alona Beach, rented a scooter, and used it to do day trips like seeing the Tarsiers, the Chocolate Hills. That'll be dope though. Scooter you rides. Also see a lot of European Beautiful scenery. Well, I'll see it a moment at the back. This was built by the Spanish, and it was actually shook up during an earthquake a few years ago. Just after visiting the Tarsiers, you're gonna see the man made forest. And true to its name, it's a forest that was actually hand planted by men. It's a really awesome feeling because as you drive down this narrow road, you feel like you're going through a tree tunnel. It's great for Instagram that's goals, sick. and it's definitely an awesome feeling as you're riding on your scooter. After the man-made forest, about another 35-45 minutes up north, you'll be going through what some people deem the main attraction of Bohol. These are the chocolate hills, and you'll notice they look extremely similar to a Hershey Kiss. I don't know if that's why they've been called that, but the name is definitely fitting. You can drive up to the top of one of the hills and actually get a pretty good vista of the entire mountain range. I definitely recommend it. Number five is a place that's on very few people's lists. Dumaguete is an incredible place and there's a lot to see and do here. Dumaguete. It's a place I spent almost two weeks scuba diving and exploring its beautiful nature. If you go to Dumaguete, check out Casaroro Falls. That's you know, beautiful. I'm probably butchering it, but I'll write it down below. Right across from Dumaguete is a short boat ride to Apo Island. Make sure you check out this place. Apo Island translates into English as Turtle Island. And it's well named because everywhere you go is serious duh, bro. There's sea Just everything revolves everywhere. around water, and, and I'm not good around water. Around, so they don't mind when you swim we'll talk about that later on. Just make sure not to touch them. If this I remember to touch no on it. In Dumaguete, but this is one of the must, must, must do's of the Philippines. This here is Manjuyud Sandbar. I call this place the Maldives of the Philippines. It's about a two to three hour drive to get here from Dumaguete, but every single minute of the ride is worth it. Once you arrive, you arrive at a little dock, you take a boat across about 45 minutes, and you arrive in paradise. If you have that extra time, or you want to take your Instagram to a whole nother level, you better check out Manjo Yud Sandbar. Those are just oh a few of the things you can do in Dumaguete. There's some nightlife, there's great restaurants, and a whole lot of nice See, I'm more about the nightlife. Place. This is a place for and land activities. Anybody. Number four, and scooter rides. The podium, but not quite, Kaosan Falls, also and waterfalls. known as Badian Canyonieri. Now, before I even get into this, if you're not too afraid of heights and you're not afraid to get wet, this is one of the coolest I'm not good with heights either. Things. So It's a full day trip where you're guided through these very narrow crevasses where the water flows down, creating these awesome little waterfalls. It's such a unique and amazing experience that you really can't find that many places in the world. I brought my expensive slow motion camera in a lousy waterproof housing. I risked it for you guys. You're welcome.
Bayan Canyoneering is a guided expedition, and you cannot do this alone. By law, you need to have a guide. And I that would be pretty sad doing it alone. Oh, what you mean by yourself? It's not yeah, you need a guide. From my memory, Safety first. Thirty US dollars. You get a guide, and he shows you through the canyons. He pushes you off the cliffs, and you even get a meal out of it. So it's not too bad. At the end of the canyon is the world-renowned Kawasan Fall. This waterfall literally looks like the exit to the gate of the factory. <laughs> the water is this weird flare oh, that looks like it should be bottled and sold to people at a very high price. The water is quite cold, so it's a very it's nice to break after a long day of jumping through canyons. <laughs> Now I must mention that when this was oh built, my gosh. I was actually I could one do of the last right groups to have gone through the Badion Canyon in quite some time, and I'm not even sure if they've reopened. The municipal government shut it down because they were worried about erosion, so do a little research, hopefully it's reopened, because it is one of the top things to do in the Philippines. Also, random insert, you'll see roosters everywhere in the Philippines. Cockfighting is basically a national sport. <laughs> I named him Fred. The bronze medal goes to my favorite- Hey, on. I want to pause it there. Because I know for a fact this camera's going to turn off. Still can't believe you guys requested this, but we'll talk about that later on. Okay, I'm back. Let's finish off this video. Different landscape in the entire world. This beach is seriously heaven, and I don't use that word lightly. It is my favorite. And I'm it's not heaven away that to this day, if you don't Napa have the love of your life with you. As a resort town. This is That's the, the thing he fails to mention. landscape that I've ever seen. Now, if you remember, we talked about El Nido being in 7th or 6th place. Well, Nakpan is about a 45-minute scooter ride away from El Nido. So again, if you Man, were I'm looking forward to the scooter ride. Consider this. You will get Nakpan and El Nido together because they're only a scooter ride away from each other. The problem with Nakpan is this. Because it's such a beautifully untouched landscape, there's nothing on it. There's really only a couple of guest houses with which they have no electricity after a certain hour. I think it's See, after 6 p.m. That's more like me though. You can either rough the heat and stay in a very basic guest house on one of the most beautiful beaches in the entire world, or you can just rent a scooter from El Nido and drive back to your hotel, resort, yeah, wherever you're scooter. staying in El Nido. Scooter's but all good. One of the most epic day trips you'll ever do. This island here is my silver medal. It's probably my favorite island in the entire world and it's easily the best island in the Philippines. It is the definition of exploring, getting lost, and seeing things that few others have ever seen before. Bantayan Island is basically Bantian. like Boracay before Boracay. I was waiting for him to say it so I could pronounce it. that will one day become a developed area, but for right now, this is a place that you can experience to yourself. There's so much to do here, from exploring the jungle to exploring the beautiful beach that surrounds the entire island. There's even goats that freely roam. This is Jerome. Definitely check out the mangroves. Look at the there are these little trees that grow on the water. Go explore the other side of the island where there's literally no identifiable landmarks. Just beautiful, untouched nature, and so many kids just playing on the side of the road. Definitely say oh, hi to them. They really appreciate it, and they're a lot of fun to hang out with. I joined a few Guys, kids no. in basketball. No, a bit of a baller. One of the highlights to my day. It wouldn't be a perfect island. Don't know if you know by some of the clothes sunset. I wear. And Bantian certainly has a lot of them. In fact, Get the Philippines up game. has plenty of them. I don't think I've seen more beautiful sunsets in my entire life. You really start to take them for granted because every single night you get a sunset that could easily be one of the most beautiful you've ever You definitely seen. need to invest in a drone if you plan no, on going to these places. The because everyone's a winner, guys. Just look at this. But just it's kidding, beautiful. this is the winner of my top 10 of the Philippines, Korun. Korun is definitely Korun. not the easiest of places to get to. It's pretty far Holy north. In shit. fact, it's even farther north than El Nido. It's more inaccessible than El Nido. And it can definitely be oh a bit of an expensive place to visit because it's so inaccessible. You either take Actually, like a five hour ferry from this El Nido, is or you can fly directly from Manila. Definitely expect to pay top dollar because I'll the fly. flights aren't cheap. This is not a cheap place to go. Now it's time to show you why you're willing to spend your money to come here and why you're willing to deal with the inconvenience. Lucky bastard. Run you lucky lucky man out of this world i can't compare it to anything to be honest it's like new zealand and africa had a baby and it was well. beautiful as always my favorite thing to do is rent a scooter it's the first thing i do whenever i get to a new place get a scooter go explore this island you will be blown away now i must say that the roads we took on our scooters were, were basically like off-roading there was some very loose gravel some huge rocks that we were driving over but the feeling of exploring where few have explored before was so worth it similar to bohol they have mountains that look like the hershey kisses they're not called the Chocolate Hills, but they're very similar. Lumps. When we drove Let's call them lumps. Road, we probably didn't see tourists for the entire day. This might sound scary to some of you, but it's one of the most amazing things. The local Filipino people are some of the friendliest and most accommodating people. 
definitely don't take that as a bad thing. It's an incredible feeling of truly getting lost in a place that you've never been before. Now, after exploring the rural side of Peron for the day, we went to the more touristy spots. Wow. There's these beautiful hot springs where people generally come for sunset. If you come here around 5 p.m., you can definitely it looks like a movie set. travelers. It's a really cool way to meet people. The next day, my girlfriend and I and a couple of friends rented kayaks and we went and kayaked all the way across to a set of islands. I'll make you pretty decent at kayaking. Just throw that out there. It truly was a very, 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 very difficult workout, but it's good to stay in shape while traveling, so maybe this is the best option for you. There's also the option to do island tours similar to an El Nido, so maybe check that out if you don't want to go through excruciating heat in a kayak. But when we made it to the other side, the work was so worth it. Similar to the landscapes of El Nido, you have the jagged cliff sides, the incredibly blue water, and the feeling of being cut off from the rest of the world. It's extremely energizing to do that every now and then. These are among some of my favorite drone shots I've ever captured. Thank you, Korun. This is Laura looking graceful, but then she got bit by a fish. <laughs> At the end of the day, we put up the white flag and we paid someone to tow our kayaks back behind their motorboat. It was the best decision we ever made. <laughs> If you like this video and want to see oh, more like it. this, check love out the video's it. link below. I have top 10 lists to Thailand. I'm going to link his channel in the description, even though he's probably got more subscribers than me. You should take, so, and I'm constantly making new content. So make there. sure to hit the subscribe button, leave the video a thumbs up, and if you want to be among the first to know when my traveler's guide comes out, make sure to sign up on my mailing list. I need to subscribe. Because I basically just took your video. Everything you need to so I'm going to go do that. save money while traveling, to how to make the most of the places that you visit. Thanks for watching guys, and let's get lost in the next one. So I'm not entirely sure if this guy does vlogging on top of these sorts of videos, but I'm gonna go and check that out. I don't make a habit of reacting to videos like this, because one, it's 15 minutes, and two, it does feel kind of strange for me to react to that, but at the same time, Still something that I'm interested in because you know I've been talking about this. I've been talking about wanting to go to the Philippines ever since more than a month. And I'm telling you that is going to happen one day. I was talking with the bro, Jay Smooth. I was like, bro, that's us, Jay. We'll meet up, go to the Philippines, and he could be my wingman. <laughs> So, bro, you gotta look out for me, Jay. Gotta put in the kind word for me when we meet Morris at a month. I've said that girl's name so many times in this video, but you know, one of the main reasons why I'm reacting to this. But yes, basically, I need to get my shit together. That was very hard to watch. Only because, very jealous, very jealous man after watching that. It kind of just puts your life into perspective. It's like, you know, these are all these amazing places. You just need to get out and go on it. This camera turned off. I'll be back again in one minute. Basically, this video has opened my eyes. Save up, sort out a plan, suss out where I'm going, and just do the damn thing. Now, I'm saying that, this camera keeps switching off. I've had enough. I need to end this video right now. I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, I don't like doing this. I have a lot more I need to say, but let's just save that for another day. Maybe I'll react to another video that's similar and then finish up on that. Because this is a long enough video as it is. That video was Kapai. If you don't know what that means, that means very good. Kapai. Anyway, see you in the next video. Shout out to the guy in the video. If you see this and you allow me to use your video and don't take my shit down, or give me a copyright strike, I appreciate it very much. This doesn't happen often, although I do react to videos. I don't go out of my way to grab other content creators' videos. Well, it depends on the content creators. Let's look at the channel. But yes, make sure you go subscribe to the channel, even though I'm sure you guys already have because you're the one who requested this. And hopefully you'll see a more Shea version to this video in the near future. Hashtag Maurice Scooters. Scooter buddies. Maurice Shay Holiday Base. Maurice Shan for the paints. Shay meets Maurice's parents. Shay gets hit in the head by Mr. Lon with a baseball bat.